Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. This is Torn Atkinson, it's once again time for, um, what do you call it? 20 Minute Monsters, <laughs> the thing that you're looking at on your screen, uh, which I record, I'm going to turn my volume down on my audio, uh, which I record on Twitch every Sunday morning, and then I upload it to YouTube so you can watch it all again. And today I'm going to, we're going through the Fiend Folio Monsters A to Z. Today is the letter I. And before I get started to draw a monster in 20 minutes, I want to direct your attention to, let's see, my Patreon. Why? Because I uploaded something new for Patreon today. Uh, I uploaded the PDF files for uh, four of my um 20 minute monster holiday cards the thought eater the afrit uh and the sturge and the harpy so what is that you say let me show you let me show you because tis the season to be marketing myself uh yes here we go so here you can see here's the pdf file and then oh that's the back or the inside and this if it's going to open are you going to open open this is the uh, outside so you got your two cards on one page they're a little bit small they're a little bit smaller than I thought they were gonna be um, but yeah so you print this out on cardstock if you have a color printer and some cardstock and then you flip it on the long page and you print this one and then you can cut them and fold them and give them to your friends and loved ones and enemies and frenemies and you'll be the talk of the town so there's the <laughs> There's, uh, yeah, there's the uh, the Sturge and the Thought Eater. And I've touched some of them up since I uh, did the original drawings. Like, for example, uh, the Thought Eater here. Sorry, it's so small. The Thought Eater here, I moved him a little bit. I adjusted the composition. But anyway, yeah, so this is available for my Patreons. And how do you become a Patreon? Well, you go to Torn, you go to patreon.com slash Torn Atkinson. And you send me one dollar every month, and you will get these wonderful things. Or if you email me, uh, because I'm such a great guy, I'll just send you the files. If you don't have a dollar, if you don't have a freaking dollar, then uh, that's fine. Okay, so today, who's in the chat? Who's in the chat today? Shemanus Amos, hello. Uncle D is here. And uh, Sir Drell, welcome, my my loyal and faithful viewers. Here's some Spider-Man music for you. And um, let's talk about today's monster. It is the Iron Cobra. Let me just turn that music down for me a little bit. How's the volume for you guys? How's the volume on the music? Is it too obnoxious? Oh, I turned it down all the way. Didn't mean to do that. There we go, four. Uh, Uncle D says, I'm wearing slippers. Perfect. All right. Here we go. So, what do we know about the Iron Cobra? Well, uh, looking at this image by A.H. Uh, Who's A.H.? Let me, let me quickly give credit to the artist because I'm that kind of a guy. A.H. Alan Hunter. Just had to open the first page of my Fiend folio. Um, it looks quite big. <laughs> In this, but that's just the trick of foreshortening, and um, it's actually only three feet long. Look at that, so small. It's got uh, number appearing one, very rare. The invention of some great magic user or minor deity. This segmented automaton is made out of unknown metal and shaped in imitation of a snake. It is believed that there are only a dozen or so of these creatures in existence, they're quite valuable. The Cobra is activated and deactivated by keywords set by its creator. When activated, it can obey simple verbal commands. When immobile, it is absolutely silent. But when moving, it usually emits a soft rustling noise, not unlike that made by a normal snake. It has no mind, so it is not affected by spells affecting the mind. Nor is it affected by webs. Oh, interesting. Non-magical weapons that inflict only half damage. It has the ability of an 8th level thief to hide in shadows. Oh, nice. Uh, and can also strike with surprise from behind. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Three poisonous bites. Poison supply runs dying. <laughs> Dry. Um, 
That's nice. That's all nice. Set to guard treasure or to attack a body act or to act as a bodyguard. Alternative, you can't be ordered to track down and destroy anyone whose name is known, providing that person is within 100, within one mile, 100. In the latter case, the creature tracks down its quarry, mm, quarry, by homing in on his psychic vibrations. Okay. It is said that some iron cobras contain in their fangs paralyzing, sleep-inducing drugs instead of poison. Okay. So that's the, um, that's the fiend folio. Um, oh, let me, he's got, oh, I can barely hear the music. Well, I could turn it up a little bit, I guess. I think it's already pretty, oh, I'll turn it up just a touch, just a touch. Let's see if I can do that. Ah, uh, there, I turn, no, I don't know if I, I don't know if that changed or anything. <laughs> I have my, the volume on my thing is quite low because I don't want to be, I don't want to be distracted. All right, so that is the Fiend Folio version. Oh, look at that. Let's delete all these. Now, here's second edition. I don't know what it has this Nazi-looking symbol on the, front of the front of it. Um, I'm sure, man, maybe it's not a Nazi symbol. Um, it got a blade on its tail in second edition, so that's fun. Um, and it definitely looks a little bit more like a cobra because the original one's kind of like it's just got a lump in the middle of it. And then uh, here's third edition. It's very, very different. It's got it got they got rid of the Nazi symbol, but they added these pointy bits and some skulls. So I had an idea while I was laying in bed last night. And before we get to that, hey, I already showed you my Patreon, but remember. Instagram.com, and I'm selling my artwork on TorrenAtkinson.com. Uh, so come and buy some art. Why don't you? Why don't you? I sold some art this week. That's pretty great. Um, okay, now we can get rid of that. So here's my idea. My idea is we're envision. Picture this in your mind, and then I'm gonna draw it. <laughs> Hopefully, um, you are the the camera is you. Let me get my. Um, the camera is you. You're being attacked. You, the viewer, are being attacked by the um, Iron Cobra. And it's biting your leg or your foot or something. So what time is it now? It is 10.10. 10. All right, let's start. And I'm using... Oh, I'm just got adjusting my microphone here. It's a little bit in the way of my vision. Uh, how are we going to do this? Okay, so... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, we got, we got. It's gonna be your. Here's your leg. It's coming out. <laughs> it's already looking super goofy, but that's fine. And then the the snake is biting you, biting you on your leg. And then here's a. Here's the snake. Oh my! Bite. Where's the? Ah! Biting you. Biting you. <laughs> I guess your foot would be like, yeah. Let's have to have a bite. You. And you're and you are in this in this scenario. You are do more foreshortening on that foot. Oh God, it hurts. Uh, who are you? You're probably Rudiger the Elf, I think. Who we've seen, and maybe maybe like your maybe maybe. <laughs> 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 what is it? What is it? What is it like to get bitten by a <laughs> iron cobra? Let's let's imagine. Let's let's put your knee, other knee here. <laughs> you're trying to you're trying to kick him off. Yes, and then your and then your hand. This will be here. No, stop it. Maybe you got a knife or something, and you're stabbing him. <laughs> let's actually get. Let's see if I can do this. This is very challenging. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was watching uh how's everyone doing today, by the way, on this on this Sunday morning. I'm recording, right? Yeah. I'm recording. Uh I gotta I kinda wanna oh this is hard. It should be like like that. I guess this one no, that's about the right size. Uh 
Are you actually stabbing him, or is it just in front? It doesn't really matter. That's the beauty of it. I kind of like... I feel like I should look at a real cobra. Let's see if, how, how close to the anatomy do I want to get. Uh, cobra. By the way, Iron Cobra sounds like a... Uh, sounds like a metal band, but it's actually a brand of... Uh, of um, kick drum pedals. Uh, okay, here we go. Can we get a shot of... Maybe this one will do. Look at that. Look at that handsome devil. There's a cobra. I want to get a shot just like top, a little bit top down. I'm not... They're all pointing directly at the... No, I can't find one. That one's about the same. That one's about the same. Well, let's just grab this one. No, that doesn't. No! No! Help me out here, you bastiches! No, I can't find one. I'll just have to... Oh, here's one. Here's one. Here's one. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Let's try this one. Whoa, so it's huge. You're huge! Fellas! Your cobra is huge! All right. Just so I can let's merge those two together. Maybe make them a little, put them, uh, put them in the corner here. And uh, yeah, cobras, cobras—they're fun, right? Um, and then so this, yeah. So oof, this is rough. Okay. So I feel like maybe I maybe I just need to do the iron cobra the way, the way they drew them originally. Let's get rid of this. Delete. Let's get rid of this. Delete. What's that? Oh, that's my iron, uh, my armor reference. That's fine. Let's put. Oh God, what happened? Let's put his. This is his snake body. God, this is not going well. Okay. <laughs> I made a mistake. Should his bottom be here, or is that too small? Daggers. You just, you just got a dagger. Okay. Ba 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 ba. This is what's happening. This is how. This is the music that would be happening when you're being bitten by a, by a iron cobra. And how do I show the ironness of the iron cobra? No, like, this is really, this is really very difficult. Maybe, yeah, maybe we do do that after all. Okay. And then, it's not gonna look. It's not going to look perfect, folks. It's not going to look good. That's <laughs> basically what I'm saying. <laughs> you, you draw an Iron Cobra, then. It right, looks like he's got a hat on. Fuck. Did I make a bad choice? Like, I feel like maybe, like... Okay, let's, let's try that. Let's move this up. Let's get rid of this for a second. And then I'm on the wrong layer, that's why it's not selecting. Let's uh let's get rid of this foot. Bow, 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 da, da. Let's get rid of this hand. Actually, let's let's move it. Let's move the hand. The power of technology. We can move the hand. We can move it. Something. I don't know. No, I'm having difficulty. So yeah, let's just put it. Let's just put it there for now. That's fine. That's a fine spot for it. Uh, you, oh, I see. There's some cobra facts going on in the chat. Okay, so. We like, let's move this foot over here a bit. I feel like we might have to do a second pass at this. Let's get my reference back. Didn't, I feel like his eyes are too far away from his schnoz. Duh. And then I have to make it, somehow I have to make this thing seem iron. I am Iron Snake. Something like that. 
This, okay, now it's gonna look a little bit better. He's mean. He's mean. He's a mean looking guy. He's not fooling around. This. 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 This iron cobra. Get the center line going there. Ba, 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 ba. I guess he doesn't have to look exactly like he is an iron cobra. He's not a real cobra, so the anatomy doesn't have to be. I think as we saw from the other drawings, the anatomy does not have to be. And I don't, should we give him? Sinking right in. Oh, the bloody, the bloody, sinking right through his armor. Ba -ba, ba -ba. Okay, okay, it's coming along, it's coming along. How are we doing for time, 10, 18? We got time. So then, <laughs> what we do? We do want his other. There we go. This is his other. Your other, because this is you. You're being attacked. You draw armor from a in perspective. That's rough. Uh, where's my reference? Where's my armor reference. Those shoes are terrible. Let's. <laughs> Boo! This is elf armor I grabbed off of, just googled the first thing that came up. Okay, let's do... Whoa, I'm on the wrong thing again. That's... I mean, it can have laces? Sure, why not? And then this. Oh, God. That looks terrible. Let's not worry about that right now. This, here's the, I can't remember, the knee thing. It's not a pauldron, a pauldron's a shoulder. What's the, what do you call, what's, what's the knee thing in armor? Does a thing all the time. There goes the spider dude. My crotch. I feel like that's like maybe like this should be the center line here. Is that is that does that look better? Look at all these. What a mess! What a mess this is. Might be my messiest drawing yet. Okay, here we go. He doesn't care about the armor. Okay, so the snake's body will be coming down like that. Right? This iron cobra. And then always draw through. That's what we learned. And then here's another, some more. Maybe? Let's get rid of all this crap over here. That three-knuckled hand <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> Alright. Let's draw the center line of this dagger. What did, what did dagger hilts look like? I feel like I should know. I've drawn through a few in my time, but... Here's some... Let's fix these knuckles. Does he have plate knuckles? Sure. Why not? Why not, indeed? Let's give him plate armor knuckles. Something like that. I feel like they should be a bit pointy, right? And then... Yeah. Let's fix whatever's going on here. Ba, 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 ba. Are you with me? All right, it's coming together. It's finally coming together. This is what happens when you get bit by an iron cobra. It's not. It's not a happy time in your life. Let's get rid of some of these. And then 
consequences. This will be like reflections. Some Kirby, Kirby-esque reflections. Right? Is that, is that working for you? And uh, center line of the cobra. Actually, it should be more like follow this line down to here-ish. Yes. Oh, we got a tangent happening, folks. Don't want that. Let's get. Let's make that dagger a little bit longer. And then segments. We need segments on this guy. Here's a segment. There's a segment. I can erase this now. How are we doing for time? 10:23. We're all right. We're all right. There's not really going to be any background on this, so that's nice. Ooh. Whoa. I said, whoa. Let me look at my reference for one or the other. No, I deleted them. <laughs> All right. Let's go back to... Let me go back to... Uh, what is it? Uh, Iron Cobra D&D. &D. The Forgotten Realms Wiki. That's the one I want. How do they do the hood on the other ones? Come on now, help me out. Oh yeah, the one with the, uh, the iron cross or whatever, that's terrible. 4E? Oh, that's not for the 4 oh, okay. Okay, I guess we just do this. I guess we just do this. And then, I don't know, let's draw some lines. Why not draw some lines? Lines are good, right? And then uh, get some shadow in there. Something like that. I don't know. I'm making it up as I go along. That's how these things work. And then it would be more like... I don't know. And then uh, I need I need some I need the rest of his body. So I feel like it would go here, maybe like that. Don't want any more tangents happening, do I? And then ooh, I'm not I'm not out of room. <laughs> I feel like the end of his tail can go here. And then uh, something like that. Is that gonna work? Down to sure, sure. Something like that. I can make it work. I feel like it's too fat in the tail area here. So let's let's make it a bit thinner. Thinner for your dinner. I'll get rid of some of these pointless lines. Okay. All right. There's a segment here. There's a segment. 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 Great. Segment. <laughs> yeah, see, the, this is too, too thick here. I really feel it's too thick here. And then let's do some of that. Okay, it's coming together, folks. I'm excited now for the Iron Cobra. There's no room to write Iron Cobra on here, but that's... I feel like this foot is too big, but I'm not going to change it now, because... Oh, we only got three minutes left. Okay. Okay, seriously. <laughs> What's going on with this guy? Just looking. Okay, that's fine. Maybe we can just do some, something like that there. That's like, I don't know what that is. We're not, it's a thing. And then, and then. I'll just fill that in. This is kind of like an indigo, indigo iron snake, would you say? 
kind of want to make it darker. All right, let's get the... We're wrapping it up here, folks. Where's the light source coming on? We really didn't really decide. I guess it's coming from above. I guess it's coming from above. I haven't really not been paying attention to the chat at all. I'm too busy panicking about this drawing. Da, 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 da. I think that's okay. Does it look like an iron cobra to you? Oh, I missed some bits over here. I mean, for 20 minutes, what do you expect? Come on, let's be reasonable here. This is a whole lot of nothing. That's nothing. Oh shit, that's something. I lied. I lied, it is something. Some, just some, some of those things there. Okay, we're at 1029. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to uh, flip this and take that. And then we're just going to make it a whole lot darker. And we're going to uh, lock the layer. Oh, that's quite dark. But you know what? That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's totally fine. I mean, there's an easier way to do this, but I'm an artist. <laughs> Not a bricklayer. Okay. And then, now, let's put this. I don't even know what brush am I using. What brush am I using? What brush is this? Rough nib bleeding. Okay. No, I don't want that. I want one that has opacity, some opacity to it. No. Oh, that has a cool texture, though. Wow. I had no idea that that brush did that. Well, we'll come back to that. This is... What brush is this? The scratchy nib. Okay. We want watery? I think we want watery. Nope. God damn it. Am I on watery? Okay, let's do this one. We're doing this one. Old Faithful. Okay. This is what we want. Get some of that in here. Yes, here, yes, yes, and then it's darker over here, and it's darker over here, even darker, and darker, and we can erase, we can erase that, erase that, yep, yep, it's happening, we're doing it, just get, oh, I feel like I missed something here, no, oh, she, that's, that's the problem, that's the problem, that's fine, I don't even care. Okay. Let's make this smaller, and I can fix that. I can fix it. Oh, I'm applying too much pressure. Light, to a light, just a soft touch. Just a soft touch, Torin. Bury it alive. Bury it alive. What's this? Oh, that's his body. Okay, great. Okay. Okay. Nothing is fucked, dude. You're being very undued. Okay, so now, I guess we go to a white. Do the same thing with white. Let's make another layer. Oh, let's make another layer, I said. Okay. We're over time. But I just want to... Let's actually... Even more opaque. Or uh, more... And then... This guy is going to basically not be purple at all. Let's get... Let's do it. We're doing it. Right? Right? We're doing it, right? Oh, my God. <laughs> I was talking to my friend. I was at a party last night. I was talking to my friend about how great doing 20 minute monsters is because you really have to learn not to be precious with things okay so now let's go back this is our last we're wrapping it up going back to the scratchy nib put this layer will be above yes yes and then we just put like I don't know some glints And then definitely, oh, okay, no, some, 
some highlights here because it's a uh, everything's metal in this in this drawing okay I think that's it I think we did it right I don't know those fangs let's get those fangs in there maybe just just a bit of a border yes that's that's the thing that's what we like okay great all right, this is it. This is Iron Cobra doing it. Where yeah, this is this is what it like. What it's what it's like when you're being attacked by an Iron Cobra. We fucking did it, guys. It's awesome. How, how's everyone in the chat? All right, I gotta read the chat. Iron Cobra got out of bed on the wrong side of the bed. Not happy. Bad time. <laughs> this is from Shamanus Amos. Bad timing. The story of my life. My toast is ready. The smell is driving me batty. I'll pop by after eats. You may or may not be here, Uncle D. Shamanus. Anus, no, Amos. The po the oh the polane or genulaire was a component of medieval and Renaissance armor that protected the knee. Genulaire, genulaire, genulaire. Looks cobrific. Uh, Khan, if you want a toes, I can get you a toe, dude. This drawing is so metal. Correct. All right. Thank you, everyone, for participating. Let's do the thing that we like to do at the end, which is there's two things we got to write. Iron Cobra for starters. And we gotta write twenty okay, that's too big. No, that's too big. Twenty minute monster by Torin Atkinson. That's me. And um yeah, let's put an exclamation point because it's so metal. And then while we're looking at that amazing drawing i'm actually pretty happy with this all things considered i'm like it turned out not too bad um the last thing we do go back to my 20 minute monsters folder and let's uh next week next week the same bat time same bat channel are we have, there's only two on, there's two options only for <laughs> j and that's jaculi and germ lane i don't really know what either of those are so find me on social media, and if you have a strong opinion, make it known. We're almost, we're almost halfway through. I mean, what's the middle letter? M? I always thought the middle letter was M. Yeah, there's, it's just that there's a lot of D's, F's, and G's, and there's a lot of S's and T's. All right, so, um, yeah, thanks for coming to my TED Talk uh, on how to draw Iron Cobras. I hope to see you next week. I won't delay this anymore, but hey, like and subscribe. Oh yeah, Shimena says next uh, next Sunday will be uh, the eve of Christmas, so that'll be exciting. Maybe there'll be gifts. Who knows? All right. Thanks a lot. See you next time, and uh, have a good one.